Hello everyone, this is Kanfar here. Today I will show you how to implement SDR Dongel and running RTL TCP server from my QNAP NAS. First of all, NAS is network attached storage. It's data storage device where you can keep uh, photo and videos and music and documents. So NAS can be used by yourself or uh, shared with large group and it can accessible from your phone or external network too. So QNAP NAS is not just a simple storage device, it's a smart operating system OS called the QTS. It's turned a NAS into a computer in its own rights. Okay, let's go to install dependencies and Q packages for our project right now. Now let's log into my QNAP NAS main page in local IP address 192.168.1.108. Right now, let's uh, waiting to log in page to my QNAP NAS. My QNAP NAS model it's TS288. Now we need to install two applications in QTSOS. The applications extension called QPackage or QPKG. It's developed from third-party developers and it's designed to run and install in QNAP devices. Okay, now open Google and type QNAP Club. To log into that page uh, for uh, third party developers okay now from here we need to search for uh, Q package application name it's calling Goti and application name is calling Intware 3x okay now Goti as you can see from here it's a terminal emulator we need to install and upload it to my QNAP so I can uh, use a terminal emulator uh, to uh, to like starting uh, RTL TCP or you can use uh, uh, SSH uh, from your phone or your computer too right now it's uh, installing the package Q package for this uh, GOTI application okay now select from here uh, what type of your QNAP to download the, the Q package after install it in your computer now looking uh, for uh, Intware 3x STD it's used to install packages with opkg command so let's search uh, for uh, intware 3xstd as you can see from here so intware std give us uh, opkg tool that we can use it in terminal to download the uh, rtl sdr package so the Intware, this give us the OPKG tool. We can use it in terminal. Now let's going back to main server IP address and going login to page and click to application center. Now we need to install these two packages we download in, in my PC. So it's waiting the app center to to start. Now from here, let's uh, click on the install manually icon in the upper right. Now browse the file Goti Q package, and uh, after browse it and select it, click on install. After installing done. Uh, repeat this to install the Intware 3 xstd extension Q package QPKG. After that, uh, don't forget to open uh, Intware 3 xstd first uh, to make it install in your system. And after that, open uh, Goti. As you can see from here, let's log into the page uh, terminal emulator. Right now, from here, put your login admin or your login name and put your password for QNAP and right now you all access the the emulator as you can see now we can use opkg command in terminal because we install intware 3xstd 
let's see it right now as you can see from here after we type opkg so we got the tool is running and you can uh, right now uh, install rtl sdr package by click uh, by typing here opkg install git rtl sdr as you can see from here I install it already so uh, right now it's ready to run now let's try to run typing RTL TCP minus A 192.168.1.108 it's the same QNAP IP address right now from my phone I will check the uh, the process running from uh, the official application for uh, QNAP as you can see from here now everything seems okay everything is running you can test it from your phone from your smart TV from your laptop from uh, anywhere if you have a uh, internet speed is good you can uh, access your QNAP NASA from external and you can uh, running uh, your SDR touch or uh, any application you want